Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech Talkies. Today, we are going to see how to decode any IR remote using an Arduino, and then how to use the same remote to control our Arduino projects. We will be achieving this using this IR receiver, VS1838B. It has three pins. The leftmost pin is the signal, the middle one ground, and the right one is for power. Let's put it on a breadboard and get started. First, hook up the power pins. Then, we plug the signal pin into pin 11 of the Arduino. Next, open the Arduino IDE. Open the Library Manager and search for IR Remote. We will be using this library here. During the time of this video, version 4.2 is the latest, so we'll be using that. Now let's get coding. If you don't want detailed code comments, please skip the code sections of the video. Link to the complete code is in the description. Include the library first. Declare all the pins that we are going to use. I am using pin 11 for the IR receiver. I will later be using three LEDs. Let's declare those pins too. Next, initiate the serial. Initiate the IR receiver using the correct pin. Then we print supported protocols using this built-in function. In the loop function, we start by checking if there is data decoded by the receiver. If there is, we print it using this function. Then we call resume so that the receiver can start receiving signals again. This line is important. And upload. As you can see, I am not doing anything but we are getting readings from the receiver. I'm not sure if it is electrical noise or all the light I am using, but let's filter those. Here, let's add a condition that if the decoded data is from unknown protocol, we will not consider the data. Upload again. Now we have a clean signal. Let me get my mini remote that we will be decoding today. Now when I press any button, we get the signal value for that button in the serial. I am getting the values for the power button and the one, two and three buttons. Now let's make a little function to handle the LED toggle. Here, we make the pin high if it is low and vice versa. Don't forget to initiate the pins as output first. Then in loop, we check if the pressed button is one of the buttons we are using. For this, we use dot command value. We copy the command value for each button from the serial monitor. toggle an LED for each button respectively. Next for the power button, we toggle all the LEDs together. Let's upload. Now to set up the LEDs, disconnect the Arduino. Connect three LEDs on the breadboard and a resistor for each. I am using a 1K resistor here. I think I will switch this wire with a jumper cable. Then we connect the LEDs to pins 8, 9 and 10. Then we connect all the grounds together. Now plug in the Arduino and check using the remote. The LEDs should work. I feel like we can add a little bit more to this project. Let's grab a servo motor. 
I have connected the servo motor signal pin to pin 7 on the Arduino and the power pins respectively. Let's add code to control the servo. Include the built-in servo library. Declare the servo here. Initiate the servo to pin 7. Now, in the loop, let's check if the buttons for the servo is pressed. I have decoded two button signals for the servo. I'm adding that here. Before that, let's add a variable to hold the servo rotation. All right. Now, when we press this button, we want to increase the servo rotation and write it to the motor. Now do the same for the other button, but decrease the angle. We can upload again. Now, I should be able to control the servo motor using these buttons. Yes. But beware that I have connected the servo to the Arduino powered directly because there is no load on it and it is a tiny servo. Any real applications will need external power supply. And that is all folks. Like, share and subscribe for more Tech Talkies.